Hi, welcome to Geekology. I'm David. And I'm Stan. And tonight, it's Educating Dave. <laughs> yes, yes Right, it is. so, we have Masterpiece Transformers. Yeah. No, not the, you know, the big bit that says, Masterpiece Transformers isn't a clue. Uh, G1. Mm-hmm. Well, G1 based, yes. Yeah, obviously. And pre-G1 based. Pre G one. Oh, no, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I've fallen into this trap for move your hand away. Now you pointed at the red one. So I'm going to guess it's the red one. No, it's the blue. One is actual G one. Mm -hmm. The other one's diaclone colours. Yes. Did they get it the right way around? Which are you picking for which? Picking blue for Diaclone. Uh -uh. <laughs> Fucking close. The hint was the numbering on the masterpieces. So you're going to do the G1 yeah. first. P P25, blue. P26. Yeah, and that would be the repaint. Oh, fuck. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah. One needs to pay attention, doesn't one? <laughs> Listen, the day I start paying attention to your peas, it's the day we've been friends for too long. Full set of a full pod worth. Um, oh, okay. That's what I call a podcast. Oh, dude, people on the internet watch this. <laughs> Do you have no shame? No, people on the internet watch, watch this. this. <laughs> All right, then, right. talk to me. Okay, G1 tracks. Okay, it was released in Transformers in 1985 originally. Very G1, because obviously it's based on a Diaclone toy. Um, it was also released in black as a limited thing as well. Okay. Okay, but that was during the reissue period. Um, the Red Tracks, which has since been renamed Road Rage, was originally a Diaclone toy, obviously. Then oh, they did, when, they did the, when they did the Transformers one, they, they turned it blue and called it tracks. Yeah. But in parts of Europe, when M, when the MB boxed Transformers first came out in 1985, there was still stock left over of the Diaclone stuff in Italy and a couple of other places. So they just took the Styrofoam out of the Diaclone box and put it into the Transformers box. So you had Transformers box. So there's actually Transformers with Styrofoam yeah. packaging. Yeah, <laughs> with, with Diaclone toys. With Diaclone, yeah. Yeah, so. Okay. Some of these red tracks actually shipped out as tracks in with a blue image of the character on the front. Nice. So it's, an, uh, it's only been quite recently people have actually confirmed they existed because back in 85 there was no internet. Um, <laughs> people didn't document like finds like that and stuff like that because nobody realised it was actually something important or anything. So, so what then happened? Go on. Okay. Um, world hunger. Hmm. Well, quite exactly. Yeah, 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 quite. I, I just trying to track where on the scale of things we're counting the importance level. I just, I'm just trying to figure out a score. <laughs> well, nobody thought they'd collect the damn things, did they? Dude, back in '85. Come on, mate. Well. I, I collect galoob for God's <laughs> sake. Yeah, I, I think I know. So, in the grand scheme of things, world hunger being here, war here, logging transformers fans. Uh, no, all right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no. To to be fair, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're both collectors. We both know how important it is. But yeah. you've got to admit, it does seem kind of surreal. Saying I've said that to people, and they've just looked at me going, "Data had how many coloured eyes? Yeah. Oh, um, why did you care? <laughs> yeah. It seemed important at the time. time. <laughs> yeah. So so when they did um, the reissues of. There were some of the original G1 cars in the early 2000s. Okay, was which these, ones did they reissue? Uh, the first two were actually, I think, Jazz and Prowl, which makes okay. sense. Um, Prowl being the police car, Jazz, big yeah. Jazz, the, the, the Porsche. Um, there was basically book style packaging that Takara used. And you basically you opened it up, you had several sheets of paper detailing bits about the character and the toy, and then under the acetate was like, Okay. The, the, the original toy. And it built up into quite the collection. I think it ended up in 25 releases or something mm. before they gave it up and started doing Encore instead. There was a 
an American um, issue of tracks as well in Toys R Us stores, which where they just literally took the toy out of the Japanese packaging and put it in UK and US packaging, but without the, the sheets of packaging. Okay. And it was just like, right, okay. So even the sticker sheet still had the Japanese on it. Okay. And it was like, really? Anyway, as part of that reissue range, eHobby, which were a partner of Takara at the time, and this is before Takara merged with Tomi, um, they did a line of special editions through eHobby, which were basically recolours of the normal characters. And some of them, like this one mm. and a few others, were basically in the original Diaclone colour scheme that Hasbro didn't use originally. And to do that, they created new characters, so they basically bolstered the, the lineup of characters. So this one's Road Rage, so it's a separate character from Trax. One of the interesting things being for this, with, for this with me, um, I'm glad you clarified that, there because I was about to say quantum physics, <laughs> geology. <laughs> just, I'm just. He said interesting. Actually, um, I've got a very important question. Go on. How come that one's got a coin and that one doesn't? Look, because I know the coins. Look, I did. Um, I, I would imagine this one originated in Japan rather than from Hasbro, Asia. Because okay, the coins where should come from. Yeah, because if you look on the back of that, it's got a Hasbro logo on it. Yeah. So what happens is that when Hasbro Asia do their issues of Takara's masterpieces, they put a coin with them. Okay. But the stuff that comes directly from Japan doesn't have the coin. Cool. Anyway, back to Road Rage. One of the interesting things about Road Rage is the fact that it, the, the character is female, whereas tracks always the, 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 the oh, well, physical model look female to me, so that makes sense. Female. Yeah. I thought the only female in Transformer Universe was RC. Oh no, there was loads in the TV show. It's been a while. Yeah. Okay. But I don't recall it very well because I was mainly comic, to be fair. Um, but this is this is the thing. This is Neo G One. This is stuff that was created. You know, it's really it's weird you should say that. It into the storyline. Retconned. Mm. Comic is not how I think of you ever. <laughs> How rude. But yeah, so 1985, actually the 2000s at some point, but also technically 1982 to 1984, just be really confusing. <laughs> just without your for, for the viewers at home who don't know Sven personally, well done. Uh, and additionally, what? You're a dick. <laughs> massive, massive dick. Mm. It's true, it's true. Really odd. Okay, I'd, I'd like to point something out because we get some wonderful Transformer viewers. I know this because I've spoken to one or two of them and they're really nice. Sven puts his own little sticker on the back of all I know, these. we've mentioned this in several yeah. of the episodes. I know, but we've got new viewers. <laughs> he puts his own little sticker on the back of them. Or on shoulders or It is whatever. actually quite a good sticker to be fair. Right, so, yeah, so the reason for this one having a heat one here yeah. and that one having the paint one there is what? Well, that's a sticker that I put on. It was part of the sticker sheet when the heat... Was part of the original sticker sheet. Was yeah, the yeah. heat sticker part of the original No, the heat stickers sheet. come already factory. Yeah, because I was about to say, I didn't think they did those loose. No, no. I mean, this is the thing. is It just depends on which run it was. Even originally, if you got a tracks from 1985 and a tracks from 1986... So that one seems really sensitive, and that yeah. one's... Because I'm used to this one where you've got to sort of rub and wait forever before it heats up there. It, I mean, this is the thing, is you probably would have found if you'd got different runs of tracks that the, 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 the logo was in different places. The same with really? the Jazz. Jazz had the, the, the rub signs in different places. Now you see, to me, have... that's genuinely, that would have caught my attention because mm. I'd want them with the stickers. Well, in. the thing is, is, tracks also had a, a classics reissue in the UK and Europe and Canada mm. um, in the early 90s. Well, it might have been 1989 actually, but basically in gold packaging. And again, the, the rub sign was in a different place, so every time it gets issued, the rub sign moves on most of these cars. That's good. So, it means yeah. you know which one it's from. And if it's a 1984 Autobot car and it's from the 1984 release, it won't have the sticker on at all because they didn't introduce them until 1985 because people were starting to copy them. <laughs> okay. But the weird thing being is that someone at Hasbro hadn't quite got the message and had thought that the guy the diaclones were the copies. Anyway, so this is an honest and real one and this isn't. No, I think you find them both real. 
Oh God. But there we go. But you can get repro labels of those now. You can get repro so labels of Rob signs, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They even do bigger ones and smaller ones for different size figures. So you can get yeah, masterpiece size ones. Because they didn't do different sizes. They were all the, They're same, all the same size. So on a mini auto button, look ridiculous half the time. Okay, that's kind of cool. Yeah, um, and they do um, alternative versions of them, so you can get maximal Predacon ones and so on and so forth. So yeah. Okay, that's quite, quite spiffy. Cool. Um, so yeah, uh, so the masterpieces came out early this year, I think it was. It might have been the tail end of last year. I can't remember. Um, one thing to be wary of is there are a lot of copies of these around already. So it says yeah. Takasa Tony. As in the name Tony up there, it's a knockoff. Okay, I don't know if there's any knockoffs running around that actually say Takara Tony on them, but just be very aware. Tecasa. Make sure you, mm. it's Casa Tony. But is the rest of the packaging pretty, pretty yeah, accurate? Yeah, very similar. It's, it's almost identical, so it's it's very difficult. And if there are any copies running around with um, Takara Tony on them, you know what I absolutely love from. here? I absolutely well, love the fact you've included that in the video and you've mentioned it like it's for them and <laughs> not like you're warning me again after that last toy fair I went to. It was like, Sven, Sven, they've got all there. Yeah, they're knockoffs. No, 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 no. They are, they are. I'm telling you, I don't even need to look at them. It's I'm the fact that, 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 that the last time I went to one of the toy fairs and I saw some knockoffs of um, Universe Drag Strip. Yeah. It, and, and, and it was just basically, I, I could see the number. The little number in the corner that tells you the difficulty was the wrong font. It was the only thing wrong on it. And you're just like, fonts look right. <laughs> <laughs> and you try telling Sir Stallholder, that's a knockoff. Yeah, oh yeah, they don't. Yeah. They, they, they were, they were, they were, they were knockoffs of, of G1 Optimus running around in boxes. And I went, that's the wrong thickness cardboard. Well, yeah. <laughs> you know, silly things like that. And someone else was selling an MP04. Um, Masterpiece Optimus and calling it an MC MP01 with the trailer and then realised it wasn't actually the right trailer and I you know, was just like and he was talking about MP10 being crap and I'm like just don't <laughs> but there we go so yeah so um, this one uh, I got for my birthday ooh, ooh. yeah and originated from Kapow I believe where I got it from and not Japan. Not Japan. But Kapow get this stuff away there again. Originated from I did a song. <coughs> I know, I know. And this one I got for a song from Master Force. What song? Uh thirty five pounds was the song. Um plus <laughs> <five pounds. laughs> yeah. And it arrived the day after I paid for it, so I can't exactly know what you can And uh for thirty five quid that's ridiculous. Um, and I gave it a coin, so I'm like, Oh, so you're next to Happy Bunny. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, so because the like, coins go for about five, six quid, don't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So, uh, yeah, that, that was absolutely gobsmacked how cheap that was, but I think it's simply because people are going, But it's not a G1 character, kind of is, kind of isn't. But, it's enough it's... that they issued it as a masterpiece, that's yeah. good enough for me. And they've just released as a Tokyo Toy Show exclusive the black one mm. called Loud Pedal. Um, who's a Decepticon. Okay. Apparently. I've got a feeling you, from what I've here, heard though, it comes with a sticker sheet and you can choose whether it's not about Decepticon or something like that. So <laughs> that I want as well at some point, but you know, not for in time for tonight, it would be. So, right, so let's, um, let's get this one open. Do you want to get that one out? Merry <laughs> That's a nice to say. That's an offer I don't get every day. Right, so I see that it comes with replacement wing mirrors. Well, the wing mirrors well, to go on it. Well, one set of wing mirrors to go on it, and then a set of replacement. Yeah, yeah. I'm guessing because they're small and fiddly and disappear. Yeah, yeah. Um, when they originally did um, the Masterpiece cars, the wing mirrors started breaking in the boxes on, in transport. Okay. So they decided to stop. Look at the little tiny sound wave. Nope. Look at the little tiny... Twin cast. Yeah, I wasn't going to get that. This is a repaint of plaster. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, 
What's the um, age rating on that video, sir? Uh, in general, available to everybody, with the occasional warning about bloopers because you're this, this, them. This, this one might get a little older because I'd like to know why this particular transformer comes with a butt plug. It's it's a front-mounted laser cannon. That's probably not even better. It, it looks like a butt plug to me. I'm glad you know what one looks like. I've been to your house. <laughs> When? <laughs> <laughs> so, so oh, well, this I is a that. front, um, a front mounted laser cannon. I have to have words with Claire. Yeah. <laughs> front, a front mounted laser cannon. Yeah. Um, when it goes into flight mode. That's a big gun. Yes, considering tracks comes with that. That actually looks like a gun, though. This just looks like a. Yeah. Bearing in mind the original gun was that. On both of them. Well, this one's more in keeping. Yeah, whereas this that one looks like it is in the TV show. Okay. Which gets uh, a down from me as a result. So, no heat sticker on this. No, because it's a masterpiece that I can do. A really nice... Which they really ought to do, you know, just to well, yeah, point it's out it's masterpiece. not a KO. Really nice paint job. Hmm. Standard high plastic. Okay. Yeah, looks tidy. Mm -hmm. It's nice. No colour variation. Oh, the paint, the paint on that. Ooh, Metallic. Pretty, pretty. Blue. Don't like the wings underneath. Yeah, there's a reason. There's a reason I don't like them, or there's a the reason, reason they're, they're there. there. Okay. It has a flight mode. Well, yes, because it was around about the same style Battlestar Galactica came out with the flying bike. <laughs> <clears throat> Don't hold that against it. Um. <laughs> I like that. It was a Honda Goldwing. It was a nice bike. <laughs> right, so that pops out to there. It's even got intakes for the jet engine. As you do. Yeah. Make sure I don't do anything silly with that. Okay, how come it, the, that one came with the character and this one didn't? Didn't it? No. No uh, probably not enough room because the big gun. <laughs> okay. That's Raoul. He was a car thief in the TV show from the Royal. Wasn't. I tried to nick. Um, I recognise this. This is a Street Fighter reject. Ha! Go on, he was a, a car thief. Car thief who tried to steal tracks, so that went well. Okay. Um, <laughs> If I remember rightly, I'm not, I don't. I don't remember the TV show all that well. To be fair, it's quite ironic considering I'm on the DVD. But there we go. There you go. <laughs> Minor point. You're on the DVDs. Yeah. Which DVD? The um, season two, part two, I think it was. Why? I did some work on it. And did they cover Auto Assembly? Ah. Yeah. So that was Auto Assembly 2003. Thirteen years ago. God. You're getting old. Thanks for that. Yeah, it's alright. <laughs> <laughs> Could well, I couldn't say old and ugly. We'll reserve that for yourself, shall we? Um, but it comes with a flight stand, which is quite cool. Okay, so that one came with the figure and the stand. Yeah. This one came with Jack. Yeah. But it is a little bit more limited release okay. potentially, so... okay. I like the fact they come with a flight stand. I like the yeah. stand, actually. Nice little multi-adjust. Oh, a two. Two-way adjustment yeah. point. Nice. I mean, Takara have actually started releasing, like, flight they stands. They sell these separate. Stuff. Yeah, they're doing similar ones, but with slightly more articulation on them. I've got to be honest with you, the articulation that's on this is quite nice. Yeah. Feels relatively firm, decent base, yeah. I've seen some uh, rather, rather dodgy ones in comparison to that. There you go. Nice. Oh, I wouldn't mind those for my um, Art Asylum mm. Star Trek because they got those things break off the stand easily. Yeah, absolutely. That's nice, I like so, that. Yeah. I love the fact it comes free with the stand. 
Um, however, I have to say, you did not improve it by putting the front-mounted laser cannon on. <laughs> this it doesn't look like a butt plug anymore. <laughs> I'm saying nothing. Good, let's keep it that way. Um, <laughs> You're trying to keep that one viewer we still have, yeah? Yeah, yeah, you stay on, stay on, please. <laughs> Watch to the end, then subscribe. <laughs> um, You're not be a still trying button. to get people to subscribe. Yeah, of course. We've got 500, how many more do we need? 10 times that. 10 times that. 100 times that. What? as if it if it fired whilst in flight mode it would go backwards yeah no butt plug for that version no nope, that was added by the cartoon series to be fair okay and now we're going to go to the gallery no we're going to transform these so you know you have a look at some pictures and uh yeah oh no, i like the fact that the tech specs are actually matched up on the are they the right versions. tech specs yeah yeah because that's the original well, that's the reissued, really, and that's the... Um, so Sven needs the underplay with some toys. Yes. Do you want to try and transform No, I haven't. Sure. Yeah. It's quite easy. No, I've got to clash the guns. I've got to clash the guns, so I'm, I'm all good. In robot mode so we have some distinct differences between tracks and road rage and specifically the head so I immediately wanted to go <laughs> uh, sorry you were on about getting a little head yes um, road rage has a better head no um, there's a there's a mold yeah. difference in the head which is quite nice so they've actually done some retooling between the repainting as well as giving her the bigger gun which is more matches the original one and given tracks the anime accurate one. She yeah. just looks ridiculous. But hey ho, there we go. Um Oh I'm sorry. Does does the robot that turns into a car not quite meet your expectations in style? No no, it's just the gun. Just the gun. It's gonna need a bigger gun. It's gonna need a bigger gun. <laughs> um but yeah, I mean it's obviously very similar in, in layout there, so do you know sense. what my issue was with Transformers? One of my issues was with Transformers. The weapons are energy based. No, they're not. That's again cartoon series. Okay, in the cartoon series, the weapons are energy based. If they'd been projectile, I'd have been happy with that because it's, oh, there's only so many rounds, blah, 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 that's fine. But the fact they were energy based used to really hack me off because I'm like, so basically you're shooting life force. Okay, it might not be the same life force, but it's a life force for you, that's ridiculous. Everything was, this is the, car, the cartoon series, everything was, was fueled by energon. 
Yeah, but that's so, ridiculous. It is ridiculous. I mean, in the comments... I'm going to hurt you with what gives you life! Actually, that could work. I'm going to hit you with broccoli. Boom, <laughs> boom, boom. Sorry, Plenty of folic acid. Um, the thing is, is in the, in the comic, is that they had um, fuel. They actually had fuel that they had to ingest as such. Now, there was a, there's, there's a scene in one of the comics, I think it was an American story, where Megatron has gone rogue at some point. Tainted fuel? Um, oh, we had that at the beginning, but he basically blunders into a coal mine and tries to eat the coal and, okay. can't, and can't process it, and he ends up running out of fuel and freezing. He's stuck there, and the American government come and get him. Stuck there in a coal mine freezing because he's never thought of setting fire to the coal. No, no, it's free frozen as he's run out of fuel. Oh, he seizes okay. up. Okay. So he's literally standing there. His higher brain functions are still functioning, but he can't move his body. He's paralysed. Okay. So his, his humans start running around on him and, and, and doing stuff, and he's like thinking to himself, if I could move, the heel of my foot would be crushing you right now. <laughs> stuff like that. And he just goes, mm, and then suddenly Soundwave turns up and refuels him through a pouch in his hip. Um, okay. through, and then and suddenly he just starts going, right! <laughs> You devoured my body. I'm going to rip you all up and apart. So, yeah. Um, but in one of the very early Oh, a nice stories, way of protecting humanity. Why would Megatron protect humanity? Oh, Megatron. Sorry, sorry, sorry. For some really weird reason, I thought we were talking about Prime. I, I blipped. Yes, yes, you yes, did. Yes, but did. very early on in the comics, um, the Wick Wiki's um, spark plug, which is the father, was tasked by the Autobots to create fuel based on what they were, the gasoline and, and whatever they were using in America at the time. Um, and the Decepticons kidnapped him to make him make fuel for them. And he made the fuel, um, but the, the Autobots, when good. they got him back, yeah. didn't give him a chance to mention the fact that he poisoned it. <laughs> oh, that's a pity. Um, and basically, the, 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 the Autobots at the time didn't know how fragile humans were. And Jazz actually tried to stop him escaping because they basically went a little bit. One of the one or two of the Autobots who weren't too human friendly, basically went. You gave the fuel to the Decepticons and kind of went off on one. And Jazz, without thinking, to stop him escaping because he was running away, used his um, flamethrower um, to create a wall of fire in front of him to stop him, which he did. But he had a heart attack, and nice. Ratchet took him to hospital because the Autobots went. Well, we need repairing. <laughs> Basically, oh. and then they then had a battle with the Decepticons, and they all and the Decepticons won the battle, and then all fell over because the fuel that they've got into there, the, the fuel that corrupted their fuel lines and started destroying them from the inside out. Oh. And then Shockwave turned up and blasted all the other bots and turned them all to a spare spare parts garage. And the only one who wasn't well, there was Ratchet because it was at the hospital. Okay. And you ended up in a situation where the only functional transformer was Shockwave, repairing all the others slowly, and uh, other than Ratchet, who was basically trying to sneak back into the Ark to try and rescue his friends. So that was the whole year's worth of story, pretty much. <laughs> Quite a good story. Cool. And he went and got, he went and found the Dinobots to try and deal with the Shockwave, which other Dinobots came into it because they were in a tar pit in Antarctica. Because they were in the Savage Lands. You know the Marvel Savage Lands? Yeah, 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 they were there. And he had to go and rescue them from the tar pit. Okay. Which was quite cool. Anyway. Um, <laughs> Help me. But in the, in, the, in the comics and the original tech specs, they use projectile weapons and you, different you, weapons. You could get me out of this so easy. Just comments below. For, in, for instance, Trax had a black light gun. Okay. And um, you had, like, Prowl-fired acid pellet missiles and... Things okay, like that's so right. They all had different, and most I think the jets had machine guns. The, the, the long nozzled missile launchery type things on them were actually machine guns that strapped with and, and stuff like that. See, so that, that makes more sense to me than energy yeah. based weapons. Quite. I mean, a couple of them had lasers um, and things like that, but and Optimus had a laser cannon. <laughs> Hence the sound effect in the mm. cartoon series. I mean, that, that was where everything was, I think that's where everything came from. And Megatron's main cannon was a fusion cannon yeah. that connected to a black hole. As you do. Transdimensionally to power it. So it was like, right, yeah, we don't want to get in the way of that. No. He should have theoretically won all the battles. <laughs> yes, he should. Yeah, yeah. And he didn't because. He was daft. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have this ultimate weapon that can kill you all! Can I still live my minion?
minions fight it out. Yeah, the problem was is that connecting to the, the, the black hole basically meant him using transdimensional energy and therefore... Oh, uh, yeah. it's like using an 0800 number there. Pain from mobile. <laughs> yeah. But literally, yeah. The black course. hole you have called is out of service. Please try again later. Yeah, to refill you will be basically. charged yeah, to your standard Stand there base. in some kind of trance and try and connect to it and get it through. <laughs> Maybe it's like 80s connectors. Yeah. Uh, But, I um, can't do modem noises, what do you expect? Just think Spectrum. Yes. Or Commodore 64. C64. Right? Yeah. Um, so, yes. Um, masterpieces. They are masterpieces. They are really nicely done. Um, I wouldn't say they're my favourite of the Masterpiece range, and I love the fact that that spins around. Mm. That's really clever, so you don't <gasps> have to have the Autobot logo. Oh, oh, I'm a big robot! But you don't know what I know for <laughs> It's for, for, for vehicle mode, so you don't have an Autobot logo on it until yeah, you put it stickers, on. So you um, stickers <laughs> on. Yeah, it makes sense. Stickers on, by the way, I'm an Autobot. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah. But they Because it never people. occurred to any of the Decepticons to get some spray paint and go, <laughs> I'm coming into your camp. Never. It's bad enough there was a double agent who actually had a, two different robot modes. One yeah, yeah, one Autobot. Yeah, I knew that. It's quite bizarre. Punch and counterpunch. Uh, we did counterpunch, we don't need your help. Oh, God, I'm quoting the cartoon series, shoot me now. Um, <laughs> yes, yes, I can. I can. Give me a minute, or we'll find something. Um, but these can are. Can I bludgeon you instead? <laughs> they're not my favourite of the masterpiece cars, right? But they're still really, really good and easily an eight or nine out of ten for me. Uh, especially that one of thirty-five pounds. Yeah, bonus. Yeah, which would have been less than that was. Cool. Uh, significantly less than that was because that was in a two-pack with the uh, cross cut, I think it was, mm. and they were. Um, I'm sure I'm getting that name wrong, but it was a skids repaint. It was in a double pack from Japan, from eHobby. It was, I think, a hundred quid for the pair. Mm. I really want to do a joke about having to um, repaint skids, but I'm, I'm struggling to go on with it. Don't bring mud flap into it, that's fine. Ew. You leave your mud flap out of this and carry on with it. The, the skids are mud flap of bloody second movie. It's sort of Transformers and they were racist, and no, I just don't know what he was playing at. I don't know what he's doing with the new one. Money, money, money. <laughs> the new one involves apparently uh, King Arthur and uh, Excalibur. Because it's Transformers la last night and they've managed to get Anthony Hopkins on board. Oh, God. Okay. So that'll be another review where I, I look like I've had my dog shot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, they're great. I would recommend them, certainly. Uh, if you can pick them up for like, if you can get tracks for about 50 quid, this seems to be kicking around at about 35, 40 quite easily because nobody wants it, which I don't understand, but he's not an original G1, because she's not an original G1 character rather, so I can kind of see where that's coming from, but okay. uh, I actually prefer that to tracks, to be fair, even though tracks has got a really, really nice paint scheme. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, 8 out of 10. Seven and a half out of ten, seven and three quarters, something like that. They're not that different, so yeah, uh, recommend them. You get little blaster with tracks and Raoul because that's from the cartoon series. Because I think um, if I remember right, the blaster was inside. And tracks. don't forget the butt plug. And, and the spare. To be fair, the spare wing mirrors. And I quite switch. like the fact they put in a repaint of blaster as twin cast because twin cast was essentially just a repaint of blaster anyway. That's cool. Um, so cool. yes, let's just hope we get a masterpiece blaster at some point. Okay. Because we've got sound wave. Well, those are his opinions. We would love to hear yours. Please feel free to uh, leave us some comments in the section below. You can subscribe to us here on YouTube. You can also subscribe to us here on YouTube. And you can subscribe to us here on YouTube. You can follow us on both Facebook and Twitter. And of course there is the official Geekology website. Which is going undergoing some serious rebuilding at the moment, so please bear with us. But... Quite. He owes me a pint! <laughs> do you want yeah, that's quite good. We're rebuilding the website. Shells up! Rumors! <laughs> yeah, be Time careful. Timing. Timing. Anyway, uh, there's also our Flickr albums, so if you have a look down below or have a look on the website, there's a link directly to Flickr, so you can have a look at all the albums. And I've set it up so there's an album for each. Oh, episode. those lovely high-res photos. Yep. All that high-res photos, you can have a look at them really, really in detail. Cool. So go look. Right, thank you for watching. Good night. Bye. Oh, cool.
coin. I am a sad git. Nice! They, did they make this specifically for you? <laughs> so what you're trying to tell me is... No, oh, fuck, I've got no idea. What is it you're trying to tell me? Because I'm in... Masterpieces! Is that on chaos? Um... <laughs> You know how occasionally you look at somebody and go, oh, you're a bit of a cunt. It's better than being a tiny dick. <laughs> <clears throat> oh no, you're a little prick as well. <laughs> Up there. How Yeah, we can tell. <laughs> so that took me too far. <laughs> <laughs> that took me a bit too long to twig what the fuck you just said. Put the fuck out. Justice League 1 and 2 have been turned into Justice this League. And it's going to have a lighter tone, apparently. It's like, a really, lighter tone? A lighter tone. A lighter fucking tone. used to be. Oh, and apparently, the first episode of season 3 of Flash is called, uh, the title is Flashpoint. <laughs> so, multiple universes being mashed together, so that'll be how Supergirl's universe ends up being the same universe as Flash and Arrow. I'm not good at <clears throat> yeah. I wonder if the guy who's playing Flash in the movie just turned up as I just do this and confuse people. Mm. <laughs> 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 